been very traumatizing and life changing for Emily and her nine year old son. She says something as simple as leaving her trunk open as she unloads groceries fills her with anxiety. Their peace of mind robbed along with the countless and thousands of other car theft victims. She's now hoping to combat this rise in crime as a community. My mom and me are fine and, and we're going to have a better life. Nine year old Nicholas is manifesting a better tomorrow after witnessing his mom come face to face with the themes. He actually looked at me and um, as I'm holding on, he hits the gas and the tire hits my whole right leg, the whole right side of my body, um, cuts my leg, cuts my arm. And as he lurches forward, uh, my head smashed into the door frame. Terrifying moments, Emily recalls, as she clinged on to her car out of impulse. The struggle leaving her in the middle of the street where the mother and paramedic thought things would come to an end. Circles back around and takes a second attempt at me. The mother caught between screaming for help and pleading for her son to run and hide. A nightmare, she says, started on November 9th when a man and woman pulled up next to her in a Kia Soul outside her apartment. She and Nicholas were getting ready to head out for school and work when she says a man walked over and got in her car. That night, uh, I literally sat in front of my front door crying with a knife in my hand so scared because you could see on my parking space it says the apartment number. This is a look at Emily's injuries just moments after the incident. A few days later, bruising showed up on her legs. The mother also suffered a concussion, but she tells us nothing compares to the unseen pain. I'm still scared at my mind. Since, since that day, my mind has been like feeling poisoned. Poisoned when scaredness. I have crippling anxiety every time I have to go out to my car. I'm scared to have Nicholas run out to grab his backpack. I, I'm scared to go to my car. As their wounds heal, Emily and Nicholas say they're coping with the trauma, but say this sense of violation is going to stay with them for a long time. Emily says their car was found 24 hours later in five, filled with stolen merchandise and drug residue. It's been impounded as evidence. If we want crime to become less, we have to start stopping crime. So I hope the community comes together to protect each other and that the police understand that while a life isn't lost, it can be lost in so many other ways. The family says they're now moving because they no longer feel safe. Tacoma Police says they do have this case filed and it's still under investigation. As soon as we have a description of who police are looking for, we'll update you. In Tacoma, Alejandra Usman, Fox 13 News.